What is the method to achieve these these goals? One way is by consulting the life force. Everyone is hardwired to nature, to spirit. Everyone has a soul, or most of us have a soul. And we can each ask questions of nature, spirit, self, the soul. And intuition has the answers to the best questions. The best answers are from the soul and the intuition. That can take years of practice, or you can just do it right now. Another answer to your question is training, daily, weekly training. Um, facing nature on her terms, mountains, forest, ocean, lakes, streams, beautification, garbage cleanup, recycling, getting kids outdoors, getting teenagers outdoors, coordinating programs for adults, doing something for elders. So programs for children, teens, adults, and elders. Documenting the memoirs of elders, um, having military and paramilitary and civilian based programs for teenagers to have an outlet for their genius and their energy and specifically uh, leadership training programs for the children take the burden off some of the parents and give children mentors in the form of these teenagers who are who have natural gifts of working with children and then the children themselves outdoor education extremely important from age 3 to 83 getting people outdoors as often as possible and then shifting our lifestyles from square buildings, electro, electromagnified square buildings and cars and sitting on our ass and engulfed in electromagnetic activity and completely cut off from nature. The solution is nature. Technology is great. Government's great. Military is great. But without nature, we're lost. We're ignorant. We're cut off. We're hungry. We're impoverished. We're enslaved and we're oppressed. And it's not the fault of the military industrial establishment. The military industrial establishment is not to blame, nor is the dark side for humans, uh, humanity's woes. Humanity is accountable for humanity's woes. Uh, the, common, the common individual is the one who is accountable for all the atrocities of the planet. All the wars and diseases and oppression comes down to the common individual and complacency apathy, indifference. So if we want to see a change in the world, it has to begin within and it has to be love. It has to be compassion. It has to be tolerance. It has to be the golden rule. So the answer to your question is the golden rule. Treat others how you want to be treated. Give that what you seek. As you give, you shall receive. As you receive, give. That is the cycle of life. We're cut off from that. We're cut off from our native wisdom. We're cut off from our intuition. We're cut off from imagination. So the solution lies in nature, the solution lies in intuition, meditation, training in nature, and the 21 Principles of Sustainable Development by the sisdnonprofit.org is a, is a whole long list of answers to your question.